now. You know, a couple games of the season being one of the top contributors on this team. How have you kind of settled into a role as maybe being, you know, a leader on this team and then just kind of the off-the-field stuff as well week to week? Yeah, um... I mean, I, like I said already, you know, I feel like I already came into the team. We already had a good group of leaders. Um, so, I mean, me, my my job is to, you know, just try to get in line and, you know, uh, try to help people, help lead them where where I can. But <clears throat> my bad, for the most part, um, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, we already had a really good group of leaders. So it's not like, you know, me coming – and once the season started and how things have played out, I feel like we've already had like a really good, a really good process going. So, Joseph, uh, when Coach Baker was here, he parked on tackling a lot. Uh, is there anything else you feel like the defense needs to improve on, or is tackling really just nice Um, I think tackling. I mean, I think tackling, especially early. You know, getting into a good rhythm early on. But um, I mean, we need to work on everything. You know, there's nothing that you can be too good at. So I would say that we need to work on everything. But uh, I think tackling and tackling early on is probably a big, um, yeah, probably. <laughs> What's the, you know, how fun is it to play you know, with this defense where every week it seems like you guys are progressively getting better and better? Mm -hmm, no. Yeah, it, it's really fun. Um, I think that. You know, our confidence each week has gone up and our our confidence in the scheme and just our our comfort level in the scheme has gone up. So I think that that has uh, played a big role into that. And I think that we're also just a lot more comfortable. We've had a lot more practices, you know, each week we're practicing um, and you can tell just the the uh, vocalness out there is getting a lot better as the season goes on. Uh, I love his scheme just because um, it helps me play free and fast. Um, so, you know, I think his scheme is really well. You know, he tells me a lot of things that has helped me with my game, especially at uh, DB and at safety, um, you know, where to get my eyes and stuff like that. But I think it has helped me a lot just because, you know, his scheme, he comes from a place where he's had really athletic DBs. So his scheme helps athletic DBs play athletic. Um, and I like that because it helps me play uh, instinctual. Joseph, what's challenging about going up against this Georgia offense, especially with these, the tight ends they've got? Yeah, I mean, Georgia obviously is a really good team. Um, you know, I think that they there's nothing that they don't do good. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a big challenge coming up, but uh, we're ready for the challenge. And, you know, I think as a defense, you know, I think that we will – come out and you know I think that we're a good defense too so I think that it's a really good offense going up against a really good defense so uh, you talked a lot about you know watching film watching a nine texting coach Baker uh, last time we were up here and mm -hmm. um, you know going up against a big team like Georgia you know, was, uh, what Matt said but did you, are you watching any extra film you know from, from these guys yeah um, I mean I always watched a lot of film um, uh, yeah so like I watch film when I go back home to um I got like a little adapter thing that I put on and it turns onto the TV, so I'll go home and watch that. Um, but I mean, it's really kind of just, you know, watching them and kind of just seeing different things that they do. But, you know, I, I feel like I, I, I'm not taking this week on any differently than I've taken any other week this season on. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the defense, or I mean, not I, I, I say the defense just because I'm with the defense all the time. So, you know, but the whole team really just, you could tell the look in their eyes. They didn't look like the game was over, which it wasn't. It was still a really early game. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of people out there um, that was, you know, trying to help people keep the uh, same energy that they had to start the game off with throughout the whole game. Um, and even at halftime, there was a lot of people that was, you know, um, trying to, you know, keep people into the game, I guess you could say. There's been a lot, there's been a lot of talk, obviously, like, you know, your play of JC, Martez, you guys playing really well in this three safety set, but Dalen Carnell has really you know, come on as a late. Uh, what have you been telling him, and 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't tell DC anything. DC's a baller, you know. He's naturally gifted and he's got a lot of confidence. So, you know, I don't really tell him anything. You know, if I ever did tell him something, I'd probably just say, "Go out there and do what you do." But, um, you know, I don't, I don't say too much to him just because he already has uh, big confidence in himself and um, he's been playing really well. So, you know, I don't tell him anything. Yeah, just going to the game with, uh, you know, confident, you know, going to the game with a lot of confidence, believing in yourself, believing in your abilities, and, you know, that the work that you put on the practice field is going to show up on Saturdays. Um, but, yeah, that's the main thing. Um, I mean, not, not, it's not really like I, I, I care, you know, I care about playing a team from Georgia, you know what I'm saying? That means a lot to me, but at the same time, I like football and, you know, I'm going to prepare just because it's again the next game. So, you know, it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal to me, I would say.